On this episode of Value This with Dr. Lori, Carol and I are going to talk about when you should sell your collectibles, how you should buy your collectibles, do you know if they're authentic collectibles, and it's the next episode. Join us. I'm going to listen. <laughs> kind of a winter wonderland here, but it, it, it lends itself to the topic today, which is collectibles and what is collectible and how do you value your collectibles? You know, people will collect categories of objects. So they might have a particular object or type of object that they like. You know, maybe it's a Yadro figurines or Hummel figurines or um, any type of collectible object. So people will amass these collections and then they'll say, wow, I have all these and now it's time for me to sell. What do I do? Right. So the first thing you have to do is make sure that you're getting authentic collectibles by that particular company, whoever that might be. Right. Is in this day and age, it still a good idea to be in that collectible market? Because is there a market beyond you when you want to sell it? Okay. It can be if you collect enough of them and if they're all authentic. Because remember, now what we have in our 21st century world is all of these people replicating collectibles. So the mass produced pieces you want to be aware of and careful of because they may not hold the same type of value and many experts can identify the knockoffs even Hummel figurines have knockoffs for example you know so they were made in Germany by the global company and then what ends up happening is they in fact are also knocked off by Japanese companies so how does an individual know oh I love the Hummel figures but now I've got these others and they're not Hummels okay how so do I know? they're not as valuable they have to be marked properly they have to be made with the same material and the same craftsmanship so what you start to do when you're a collectible collector is you start to educate your eyeball about what the actual authentic ones look like. So you start to identify quality. This is why I tell everybody, go to museums and learn from what are the authentic pieces so you can educate your eyeballs and spot quality. Okay, because if you're just out buying fast something that looks really <laughs> close to what you have, you could just be buying junk. Is yeah, you're that? wasting money. Okay. Yeah, you're wasting money. So you have to make sure that you get those things. And there are certain things that are criteria for those respected collectibles. So maybe it might be a particular mark or maybe it might be a particular signature or maybe it might be, you know, the way it's constructed or the size of something. And these are all the clues that experts use to authenticate properly these objects. How do you know if you are seeing something right now that's kind of hot over the last year or so that that's going to become a collectible and you're in on the ground floor? Okay. My experience, I always say collect what's coming. And what's usually coming is, of course, that anniversary of a particular collectible time period. So the longer a collectible stays in the market over decades, the more valuable it is because they retire the old ones. So you can't get the old ones, so the old ones become more valuable and spike in value. Okay, but what about a new collectible? Like you were mentioning these things that everybody's... Oh, the spinners. Yeah. The little spinners. Well, they're collectible. I mean, those pieces, you know, if you have a red one and a green one is about as collectible as you're going to get. Or a pong. Or a yeah. pog or whatever it's called. Those kinds of things. So basically, when you start to see those types of things come into the market, remember, it's the difference between a fad and a collectible. Okay. Okay, so like the pet rock, well, it says something Something about the 1970s and culture, but it's basically a fad, right? Never gonna really spark, skyrocket to collectibles. And you can't have all different types of pet rocks. There's one pet rock. Okay. Okay. So, all right. So, so not a collectible. All right. So, so you have to sort of, if you, if you think you're getting in on the ground floor of some kind of a new trend, right. like the Furby. Right, right, right. And then it falls out of favor. Right. So, and then remember, toys are not, are collectible. You can collect them in categories, but they're not only collectibles. And, and you're thinking, Lori, I don't really understand understand that. Well, a toy like a Barbie, you can collect many Barbies, but Barbies are not collectibles. Okay, so a collectible doesn't do anything but sit on a shelf. Well, basically. and you add to that particular collection. Right, and but it's, it's not for a toy. The, you're not playing with Yeah, it. it's for the integrity of its display, which is why when we talk about collectibles, we oftentimes talk a lot about display. And we also want to talk about how the market changes, right? So the market will change at anniversaries. It'll usually spike. The market will also change when some other related collectible comes into the market. So when we start to see, for using our Hummel figurine example, when we start to see the Hummels, right, and then we start to see giant Hummels, you start to go, oh, okay, so this collectible market has sort of made a change, a transition in that time. And that's when everything in the market starts to change as well. Is that a time to buy or sell? Usually a time to sell. Meaning the market's starting to... The market is starting to change, and that change could be for the good, but it could be for the bad. 
Okay. So if you see a change like that in a collectibles history, you may say, okay, it's time for me to get rid of my early collectibles of that type. Okay. All right. And Makes sense? It does make sense. And you got plenty more information on this, drlaurieV.com. Yep. So many questions answered and you can, you know, send a couple of pictures of your collectibles Ooh. to Dr. Lori because she hasn't seen enough stuff in her life. <laughs> Not yet. I'm still looking. I'm still looking. But the collectibles are fun to collect and fun to display. They but are. you want to make sure that you get the right thing. Absolutely. Dr. Laurie, thank you so much. And thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time.